I'd love to invite you to, um, to start seated today. So finding your comfortable seat on a cushion or on your mat and crossing your legs. You might notice you cross them the same way all the time. So maybe just swapping and grounding through the sit bones, hands onto thighs and gently roll your shoulders. Just rounding, rolling your spine, roll around your sit bones. And just find a bit of space and give your body an opportunity to settle in, to maybe settle into its natural alignment again. Often we get really caught up in our heads and what happens then is we, we pull ourselves out of alignment. So this is our moment to take a deep inhalation and exhale to just let it all go. And another one of those, inhale deep and wide and exhale to kind of as a gesture of stepping into trusting our body and really trusting life trusting nature your eyes are closed now your lips softening it's a strange thing that us humans have to have this thing of holding on and believing we need to control and manipulate um, while we really are just these specks on this rock spinning through the universe and Everything in nature works so well and holds its rhythm and finds its balance naturally. And um, here we are as humans pulling ourselves out of alignment all the time and then struggling to get back where I would suggest the most powerful way to step back into alignment is to just let go, to let, let body do its thing, to let our mind do its thing, not getting caught up, not holding on. The gesture that goes with it is that is the turning palms up and the open hands. Maybe you want to do that, place your hands on your thighs, palms facing up. Let your elbows relax and your shoulders relax. Let your crown rise. Feel the insides of your palms, that spaciousness as a gesture of welcoming whatever there is to come with an open heart, an open mind, open palms. And really soften and trust that everything lands where it needs to land, all unfolds as it needs to unfold. Bring your awareness to the space between your eyebrows and soften there. Soften your forehead and soften your eyelids. Soften your cheeks and your lips. While I grew up, whenever I heard courage, I thought of strong, tough knights in armors. <laughs> And it's only now that I'm learning that courage has way more to do with being willing to be vulnerable than with being strong and tough. Facing life in a courageous way means to dare to soften into it, to dare to show up with our most vulnerable aspects and trust that it's okay. Trust that what we have inside is pure goodness. Trust and be willing to show up with that. I would like to invite you to take that into your yoga practice today. That trust, that willingness. And already the fact that we're here on our mats is the biggest step of all of them. Trusting and softening into this moment. And let's gently lift our hands up. No strain in the shoulders. Just hold them in space and ask yourself, how do I know my hands exist? 
No looking, no moving. You might want to even just do one hand. How do I know my right hand exists? And just notice. Become deeply, utterly still and curious. How do I know my left hand exists? And witness, notice what happens. Can we just drop our hands back down onto our knees? Gently stroke our hands up and down our thighs and then hooking hands over knees as we round ourselves back. Roll into tailbone, tuck your chin to chest and broaden. Breathe space into spine, widen into the space below your shoulder blades, around your neck. Feel free to move a bit, really round yourself out. When you're ready, slowly roll forwards onto sit bones. And then folding yourself forwards, maybe hands reach, come down onto mat, drop your knees apart. Be deep in it, be fully present. Chin to chest, rounding up as your hands come past the knees, we'll hang into them again. We'll round and we'll notice what's changed, what's different. Might I be able to go a little deeper and rolling forwards onto front sit bones and folding. Dropping knees down into earth, tilting pelvis, releasing spine, maybe gently swaying, chin to chest coming up, hands onto knees. This time we'll lift our knees up using our hands. We'll just cross, uncross our legs and cross them the other way. And one more time, we'll hang back, we'll Feel our shoulder blades widen. Notice if there's anything else you could do here to go deeper. And then coming forwards and folding into the space between your knees. Fully present. Let this moment fill your entire awareness. Chin to chest, rolling up. As you come up, you open your arms out to the sides. You exhale your hands down onto the mat. Relax your shoulders down, slide them away as you inhale and reach them up tall. Grab the space above you and as you exhale, you slide your ribs and shoulder blades down. Maybe gently circling or arching and rounding. Really connect your ribs, connect your shoulder blade tips downwards and lift your pelvic floor at the same time. And then next exhalation, right hand comes down. Slide it over and lengthen into left side. Turn your gaze past your left armpit. Slide your left arm back. Roll your right shoulder down. Continue to open collarbones and chest. Take an inhalation here. We exhale to just bring our elbow, our top elbow to outer right knee to round our upper body one more time to round our lower back. As we inhale, we reach our hands back up. We look up at left hand. Turn your gaze as deeply as you can. Maybe you can even look past your hand. And then reach through hand up to center. Both arms up. Exhale, shoulders low. <laughs> Inhale, growing tall. Exhale, hands through the sides. Big movement. Fingertips onto mat. And we inhale our arms through the sides, back up. Exhale, the shoulders slide down. Inhale to grow tall. And exhale, hand comes onto mat. Sliding over, moving on to the other side. Gently turn your gaze past your right armpit. Draw your right arm back. Draw your right chest open. Slide your shoulder blades down. Be deep within you. Deep, deep, deep. Another inhalation here. Exhale. Elbow to outer left thigh or knee. Round your back body. Hollow out your navel. And then inhale. Reaching up. Looking at the top hand now. Looking from the tip of your nose. Maybe today you can even look past the hand, reach, lean, make space, and come back to center. Reaching up, inhale, tall, exhale, shoulders low, inhale, even taller, exhale, hands down onto mat. Now we'll roll over our feet onto hands and knees, find your way onto hands and knees, hands under shoulders and knees under hips. Coming into cat and cow, let's move forwards back and forwards and back first to find some space into wrists. Spread our fingers a little wider. We might not have done this in a while, so feel into it. 
have a look at your feet, shins parallel, and on your next inhalation, you arch, you lift your sit bones, you lift your sternum, you hug your elbows in, you reach, and you exhale to round. And you inhale to arch. Let's do five more of these in your own pace with your own breath. Exhale to round. Go into those spaces that need attention, that need a bit of movement today. Every day, every practice being different. Being courageous in terms of going to where it's tender, where it's uncomfortable. Going to where there's blind spots in our body, in our being. And that's fine, neutral spine. Just lift the knees for a moment to stretch the tops of the feet. See if that works for you from big toe to pinky toe. Bringing the knees back down, tuck your toes under. And then shift your sit bones to heels, adding a bit of weight into your heel. Feel the balls of your toes, the toes, the joints, they stretch out. Now have a look at your hands, hug your elbows and press your hands down and forwards. Look at the edge of your mat in front of you. Keep that upper body alignment as you lift your knees and unfold your legs. And as if you're walking on the spot, bending one knee at a time. Swaying the hips side to side, opening the back side of the legs. You might be able to lift your toes. Be willing to go deep. Be willing to not remain on the surface and let your mind take your attention away. Be willing to become still and really explore this beautiful opportunity to get to know yourself deeply. Bring your knees back down, your toes still tap. Sit bones to heels. Notice how this feels different now. Again, pressing hands down and forwards, hugging elbows in, looking forwards. We expand our legs. We inhale here. We exhale to drop our chest and let our head hang. Gently sway your head. No, not your head. Yes. Let your shoulders and neck really soften. Left foot grounds, right heel rises. Pressing right heel up into ceiling. And check out while you're looking at your left foot. What notice is the weight evenly balanced? Is my ankle in alignment? Am I twisting? Am I shifting more weight into right or left hand? Can I reach my right leg higher? And exhale, right leg down, swapping sides. Now being curious, looking at right foot, feeling it balanced. Notice what the shoulders are doing. Strive your left heel up. Notice the sensations in your head, maybe blood pulsing through your forehead. And embrace all that is, not resisting anything. Notice your likes and dislikes and just be with it. Left foot down, knees open wide, toes point back. Settle into the space between your heels. So see if you can ground your inner thighs down to mat, your pelvic floor. And then folding forwards, folding your chest into the space between your knees. Forehead might be on mat or on hands or on fists. Or your chin might be on that, your sternum might be on that. Continue to slide your shoulder blades down to hips and away from one another. Now, every inhalation you gently expand, with every exhale you truly surrender. You drop your inner thighs to mat, you drop your heart to mat, you drop your armpits to mat. Make space, allow all that is tough and hard to soften. Finding strength within that. Slowly roll yourself up to sit. Bring your knees together. Bring your hands forwards. Take a moment, spread your fingers, prepare. Hug your elbows in and then find your plank. Big, strong, deep navel center. Turn your gaze forwards. Notice that your shoulder blades sliding up. Can you slide them down and lift your navel? Extend your tailbone away. Now step your feet a little wider, a bit wider than the hips. And then gently swaying side to side from the hips a couple of times. Switch on core, shoulders above hands. And we land on the outside edge of our left foot, inside edge of right foot. For a moment, let's lift the hips up and just reach it out as if our hands are doing down dog. And then come forwards again, shoulders above, hands, and right arm rises. 
Good. Stacking shoulders, stacking hips. Press left heel, press right heel into earth. Lift hips a little higher. Breathe. Right arm up and over. Go a little deeper. And right hand comes down onto mat. Roll back onto toes. Shoulders above hands. Roll onto outer right heel, inner left heel. Strong foundation. Hips up for a moment. Reach, stretch. Coming forward, shoulders above hands. Stack your right shoulder above. Right hand, left hand reaches up. Expansive movement. Press the outside edges. Press the edges of your feet into mat. And then left arm up and over. Lift your left hip higher. Breathe. Breathe. And left hand comes down. Inhale, plank. And plank becomes downward facing dog. As the hips reach back, maybe looking forward, turning elbows inwards, softening into this pose. We bend both knees, lift both heels. So rest, maybe we can rest our tummy onto thighs, poke our sit bones away, look forward. Let's bring left hand, left foot to the space between our hands. Bring our right knee down. Move our right knee back a bit. So left knee is about the heel. Point the right toes back, gently sway side to side. Continue to lift your heart as you drop your hips. If your hands on the mat is a bit of a, a bit too much of a stretch, bring your hands onto knee. Shift and move, and then as you shift your hips back, you might slide your hands slightly back, folding over your extended leg. Go into it, be courageous, face the discomfort. Coming forwards. Opening hips, hands onto knee, press your knee forwards and away. Roll your right hip forwards, left hip back, soften a little deeper. Continue to want to point your tailbone down to front heel. If there is more space, maybe arms up. Turning palms inwards and outwards. Notice how that influences the shoulders. And then find space, let your shoulders sink, go a little deeper into right hip flexor. Strong navel, lifting all the way from pelvic floor. Breathing all the way into pelvic floor. Wide, spacious movement, let it carry you. And the hands come down and shift it back again. Shift it forwards again, tap your right toes under, lift your right knee. Check your feet, they're hip wide, the hands come onto front knee and just helping it ground, find your balance, lift your heart. If you need a hand to lift your heart, you can do that. Lift your heart, shift your weight into left foot and then with your heart still lifted, reach your right leg up. Make sure your left kneecap is pointing straight forward, using your hands, supporting the knee, continuously making more space as you breathe here. And then step it back. Land the foot, both legs landed, and arms rise up into lunge warrior. Tuck your tailbone down, lift your navel up high, soften your shoulders down. So your center is strong, you're continuously contracting into your center to be able to really unfold outwards effortlessly. Let's bring our right knee down for a moment. And strive your right hand up to ceiling as our left hand comes down towards mat. And it might just be here, if you want, I quite like placing my left hand onto sacrum and just reminding sacrum to stay broad. And maybe you gently press your pelvis forward as the right hand reaches up and over. Right hip rolls forward, left hip rolls back, lean your chest back, open your thighs, feel your inner thighs, hip flexors soften. Dare to be uncomfortable. Dare to take away your judgment and just be with this moment. Facing all of it. Arms come up. Lifting back up into lunge warrior. And we'll open into warrior two for a moment. Rolling back heel down. Welcome to use your hands on your thighs. Gently roll and shift. Bring your pelvis to be upright. Wiggle your hips. <laughs> Imagine you were writing your name with your sit bones. <laughs> Tiny little movements, tiny little movements. And then we'll straighten out our front leg. Left hand slides down as our pelvis tilts forward. And it slides to wherever it is, it is for you. 
maybe all the way down or on your thigh, eventually right arm up. And maybe right arm up and over, palm facing down, make even more space. Strongly grounding through your legs, knee, lift your kneecaps up. And then looking down, bending knee, knee above heel. And from here, we'll lift ourselves up into warrior two. Sway forwards and back. Go as deep as you can. Keep your legs as they are. See if you can really move from pelvis side to side. Make sure you're not holding on to your shoulders, but let your hands rest on space. Think of birds. They're able to push themselves up on space. Space is not nothing. It is something very thin. <laughs> Reaching it back. Right hand comes down, left arm rises up. And then turn your gaze, turn your chest towards left knee. Keep it nice and open and reach it back. So left palm turns forward, open it back. Rise from tailbone through pelvic floor. And from here in one go, we'll reach forward. Left hand lands on outer left foot. Right arm might stay on the hip or it might come up to ceiling. Good. Might you be able to deepen the hips towards the mat? Keep your right pinky toe side on the mat. Might you be able to straighten out left leg and open even further? Bending left knee again. Right hand sways around, comes to the mat. Hands shoulder wide. Rolling onto right toes, pushing hands into mat and left leg reaches up into three-legged downward facing dog. Dropping right heel, lifting left heel. Dropping right, lifting left. And left foot comes down. Now you can pause here in down dog, in a child's pose, or maybe you come into plank. And plank maybe back into down dog or through a vinyasa. If Chaturanga is part of your practice, go there. I have a bit of a shoulder injury at the moment, so I'll do the knee thing and just open up here. And find your way back into down dog. Work with your body, not against it. And I invite you to go through another flow. You can stay here or flow again. Maybe the same one, maybe you want to try a different variation this time. Be conscious in your body alignment. Move mindfully. Make it nourishing. Coming back and maybe one more time. Staying, pausing or flowing. Lots of space through the body. Finding ground over again. And from here we bend both knees, lift both heels, look forward, poke your sit bones up, have as much space between body and mat as you can and find your right foot landing between hands, find your left knee coming onto mat, your left toes pointing back, nice long challenging distance between right heel and left knee and gently sway, loosening up, swaying a bit of hands on the mat is too far, hands on knee is great. And then folding forward, so we straighten out our front leg and straightening never has to be straight, it's, it's yours, it's your body, maybe drawing toes towards you. I invite you to move forwards and back a few times. No need to get stuck. If you're anything like me, you're stuck in life enough. <laughs> so flow and explore and reach and... Make space to feel and do things differently. See things differently. Let us meet with our knee above our heel. Hands come onto knee, gently shift your knee forward. Lift your navel up, point your tailbone down. Stay there or reach your arms up. Soften shoulders away from ears, long neck. Strong center, feel your ribs and pelvis come together. Really breathe into that. And even if you've done this pose a thousand times, notice there's always more layers. There's always something more to explore. Another inhalation here for space. Exhale, hands come down, fingertips light. Tuck your back toes under, step onto back foot. Bring your hands onto front knee. A gentle touch or touch of support 
knee above heel. Now lift your heart. If you want your hand to help your heart lift, slide your shoulders down, lifting heart, stepping onto right foot, and then lifting left leg back. Point your toes. And here again, play around, explore. Lift the heart. Where might a muscle be sleeping? Where might you be stuck or tight? Where might you be able to make more space? And then stepping it back, rising arms up into lunge warrior. Whew, landing and arriving. Let your legs shout if they need to. <laughs> landing here, we bring our back knee down onto mat. Left hand strikes upwards without pulling out of the shoulder. So keep your core connected. Right hand comes down, strikes down to mat. Gently look down past your right hip. If you like, right hand onto back pelvis. Lifting front hips, dropping back hips, pressing hips forward, right hip back, left hip forward. Make space. Every inhalation and expansion. With every exhalation, see if you can challenge yourself to stretch a little deeper into whatever is tight and tense within you. This constant dance of expansion, surrender, contraction, this beautiful art of awareness, coming back to center, lifting yourself up, fine lunge warrior, and then open into warrior two. Stay where you're at, I'll turn around. <laughs> warrior two, opening wide, hands out to the sides. If you want your hands onto thighs and move your pelvis, tiny little movements, a micro little, like a Lombarda dance. <laughs> it was a movie <laughs> when I was little. <laughs> and then arms come out to the sides and let's reach forwards as far as we can and backwards as far as we can. And one more time, forwards and back. Make sure your hands are resting on space and then left hand onto hip. We straighten our front leg out without locking it back. Strong in our legs, feel a deep sense of upward movement sliding down, finding Trikonasana. Notice it might be very different on this side. Slide your shoulder blades to hips, open heart, collarbone. Maybe left arm up and over, going a little deeper. Continuously making space, let your heart shine. And looking down, bend your knee and find your way back up into warrior two. Sway forward. Sway back, stay here, left hand drops, right arm rises. Now turn your chest towards your right knee, turn your palm the same direction your right knee is pointing, and slide into a back bend. Strong navel center, deep, wide, lower back, open towards the front, front knee forward, shoulders down, heart open, and reaching into warrior two. Through warrior two, right hand onto outer mat, outer foot on the mat, left arm up. Can we drop the hips a little lower? Drop, 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 drop. Can we reach the hips up and stretch out right leg? Bending right knee, left hand comes down, rolling onto left toes. Hands ground, left foot ground, right foot back, three-legged downward facing dog, striving right leg up. Another inhalation here and right foot down onto mat. Knees wide, toes back, inner thighs, sit bones to earth. And just check, notice, folding forwards. We've been here before. See what's different. Let your sternum and chin or forehead Rest on mat or on hands. And make it your challenge to really drop, really soften into earth. As if you're becoming one with your mat. One with your mat. And let's roll ourselves up to sit. Let's bring our knees together and our heels under. And be here for a moment, hands on thighs. And notice, maybe the shoulders have come up to ears now. Might you be able to soften them 
back down to with your eyes closed to to simply relax relax back into gravity relax back into natural alignment so with this softness and openness we'll open our eyes bring our hands forward spread our fingers create that triangle on the mat so your hands here your head's going to be here and then place the crown of your head right there hollow out your navel have your elbows above your wrists spread your fingers wide have a look, hug your elbows in so your forearms are like pillars, they're perpendicular to the mat. Tuck your toes, lift your knees and simply observe what it feels like to have weight in the head. Notice how your mind might start to think. Notice how as the sensations in our body change, our state of being changes. You might want to place your knees onto elbows. If this is not for you, you can stay on your feet or just come back into child's pose. And if you feel like coming up into a headstand, you're welcome to. If your knees might want to come into chest. And your feet might want to strive up to ceiling. And see if you can do that from a space of softness from a space of surrender. So instead of forcing it, you're giving your body permission to step in space. You're trusting it to do its thing. You're trusting that it knows. And when you're ready, slowly come back into child's pose. We pause here. This time our torso is round and over our bent knees. We pause, we rest, we soften. When you're ready, bring your chin into chest, roll yourself up to seated. And as you come up, roll your shoulders a few times. Maybe move your neck, move your head. Mindful. Listen inwards. There's no wrong or right way to do this. But use it as an opportunity to get to know yourself even deeper. Hands come down. Hands move back. We hug our elbows in and we lift our chest, our heart forwards. So lift yourself out of shoulders. Shoulder blades slide down and heart opens wide. And this might absolutely be enough. Maybe your head wants to lift. Keep your neck long. And maybe the hips want to lift. Pointing tailbone down. Create the longest line through your spine. The biggest expansion through your heart. Another big deep inhale here. Exhale to come back out of it. Bringing your hands forwards. Spreading fingers wide. Take a moment to notice the sensations as blood rushes into hands. As your body aligns itself coming into plank. And you might move straight into down dog or through a vinyasa. That's your choice. See what's true for you, what works for you today. Gently deepening the heels down into mat once you arrive in your down dog. Open your armpits, soften your chest. We lift both heels, we bend both knees, we look forwards, we find our right foot landing between hands. We find our knees stacking above foot, we find our torso stacking up. Aligning with our back leg, let's press our back heel downwards, downwards, downwards. Let's reach our arms in line with hips or out to the sides or in line with ears. And you come up by lifting your heel and rolling over the toes. Now come back again, do that again. Heel down, 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 down. And then you pull it up and you land on your right foot. Coming into this flying warrior. Flying warrior of your choice. Maybe arms forwards into full warrior three. Maybe it feels like doing yoga on a sup right now. <laughs> Open up. Find your center through your breath, through your focus and awareness. Step it back. A lunge warrior rises the arms up, right hip back, left hip forwards. 
expand and open wide. And let's do that again, folding forwards as the hands sway past the hips, the arms rise back, the chest lifts and the leg lifts. And simply coming back here, rising up, inhale here, exhale, hands back onto earth. Grounding, exhale, right foot back into three-legged downward facing dog. This time we open the knee, we bend the knee and open the knee up to ceiling. Keep your left kneecap pointing at left hand. Relax your shoulders, relax your neck and right foot comes down. Bending both knees, looking forward, hugging elbows in, strong center, left foot between hands. Left knee above heel, hands onto knee, find your center, stack yourself up and lunge warrior, opening wide. Feel your front hips open beautifully, feel your core, your glutes work hard. Hinging forwards, align yourself with your back leg, press your heel down, 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 down. Arms might stay up or in line with hips, shooting, rolling over your toes and unfolding into your flying warrior. To lightness, see if you can find a sense of effortlessness, stepping it back, lunge warrior. Doing that again, hinging forward, charging up by pushing heel down, and then rolling over toes, coming up. And only using the energy you need. See where you can soften, where might you need to contract. And let us step it back, rise our arms up. Inhale here and exhale, hands come back onto earth. Grounding, left foot comes back into three-legged downward facing dog. This time opening the knee, opening it wide. Keep your chest level, keep your hips open, right knee kept pointing to right hand. Another inhalation, exhale, leg down, pausing in down dog. If you feel like it, move through a vinyasa, do your play and any variation that works for you this moment. And into child's pose. Be open to everything that's alive in you right now. Look forward. Come onto hands and knees. Come into down dog. And then I'd love us to step our feet to hands. Point your toes out to the side. So your feet are, your toes are just off the mat. And then come to squat. With your hands in front of you on mat for support, or maybe hands come together, knees to inner, elbows to inner knees, sway side to side. Ground your heels into earth. Lift your arches, the inner, inner edges of your feet upwards. Find space. Notice where you're holding back. If you like, you bring your hands forwards and open your palms out to the sides. Opening knees even wider, slide your shoulder blades down, chest and heart wide and open. Beautiful. Fingertips come down onto mat. Keep your legs and knees pointing outwards as you slowly lift your sit bones up, coming into a forward fold. Toes and knees pointing outwards, sit bones stretch up. As you inhale, you lift your heart forward. See if you could possibly arch your lower back. And then exhale to fall deeper. Shift your weight forward so that your hips are above your heels, above your feet. Another inhalation to lift the chest and exhale to drop the hips. Fingertips come together in front. And now from here, keeping knees wide, we lift up. Can we do that? We lift up, we lift up. Oh, the legs are tired. We go back down. <laughs> Keep the knees as wide as you can. Make some sort of power pose with your hands. And then lift up, 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 up. From here, you open your arms. You slide your shoulder blades down and you open your heart. Lift your sternum, point your tailbone, open your inner thighs, make space. And reaching up. 
and coming back down. Very good. <laughs> the hands come down. As we lift our, knee, our hips, our, heel, our feet, sorry, our feet come hip wide apart, outside edges parallel. We slide our hands up onto kneecaps, we lift our chest, and then we exhale to fold forward. If you want, you can poke your sit bones up, or you can tilt your pelvis forward. Eventually, you let your head hang, you let your arms hang, wiggle your toes, spread them out wide. Find this big, beautiful expansion through back legs and that softness through your spine. To come out, we bend our knees and round ourselves up to stand. Round your spine, stack your spine. As you come up, roll your shoulders, open your chest, soften it up, relax it out, shake it out, maybe gently wiggling. And then with your feet deeply grounded, outside edges parallel, we inhale to lift up, fill yourself up, fill your lungs with breath, and exhale to, and maybe hang here, then. just let your arms sway, let your legs bounce, make sure your knees move in alignment with hips and feet, and on your next inhalation, reaching up, inhale, 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 fill yourself up, be taller and wider than you've ever been, and exhale to, Empty yourself out, and when you're ready to inhale, coming up, fill yourself up deeper than you thought you could, and exhale to everything out. One more time, inhale up, fill yourself up, and exhale to breathe it all out. We come to stillness here in our forward fold, just hanging, softening. And bending our knees, rounding ourselves up to stand, rolling up, rolling shoulders back, and simply stand into Dasana for a moment, arms in line with hips, really feel your hips stack above feet, chest stack above hips, maybe checking ribs, pelvis, and alignment, strong center, let the shoulders drop, let your crown rise high, spread your fingers wide, and witness your body from within. Those simple poses, the depth of it. And in your own way, come down onto mat, seated, with your feet stepping forwards, lots of mat behind you to come down onto. And we'll reach our arms up, and we'll uh, soften, and we'll point our tailbone, hollow out our head, we'll round our lower back, and round ourselves down onto mat. Your entire lower back is imprinted into mat. If you like, come down. If you want, maybe rolling back up one vertebra at a time. Focus your presence, your awareness here. Let everything else soften and roll back down. Let's bring our arms up and over and just stretch it out. Keep your lower back on the mat. Keep your point at your tailbone almost kind of pointing upwards. And if available to you, bring your feet up above hips. If available to you, shake out your legs, shake out your legs, flop your toes, let your legs jiggle and wiggle. Your hands can always help you underneath your glutes to be here. Tailbone grounding, sacrum grounding. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Wobble, wobble, wiggle. <laughs> wobble and wiggle and then find stillness and just be here for a moment. Feel the sensations in your feet. Notice, breathe. We'll bring our knees into chest. Hug our arms around our knees and hug our knees in. Lifting tailbone, lifting shoulder blade, deep and navel in. Rest yourself back down, arms out to the sides. Stretch and reach into fingertips. Open the soft skin on the inside of your arms. Open your armpits, open your collarbone. All that is vulnerable, open it up. Step your feet down onto mat, heels aligning with sit bones, and then lift your right knee up, bring your right ankle to outer left knee. Now use your right foot to draw your left knee over to the right, and rest and surrender into gravity. Keep pointing your tailbone away, strong center, if you like, turn your gaze to left hand.
Turn your gaze back to center. Bring your legs back up and keep your right ankle on outer left knee. And this time the knees drop over to the left. So now your left knee stacks on right foot. Shift your head slightly to left shoulder and turn your gaze right. Open right chest. If you want, left hand comes onto outer right knee to deepen the twist in the legs, to deepen the twist through the spine. Continue to reach and strive into right fingertips. Soften your inner right arm, soften your heart. Poke your sit bones, no, slide your shoulder blades under. And we let go, we come back to center, we stretch our legs up, arrange ourselves, realign ourselves. Feet come down, in line with sit bones, left knee lifts, left ankle to outer right knee, and then drawing the right knee over to the left. Notice their difference. Maybe turning head towards the right. Let this right hip soften and open. Surrender into gravity. Nothing to do but soften. Witness your body flow with breath. Another inhalation here. Exhale, slowly coming back to center. Foot stays exactly where it is, and this time the knees drop over to the right. Take your time. Maybe right hand onto outer left knee. Shift your head slightly to right shoulder as you turn your gaze towards the left. Let your body soften. Feel it open up. Enjoy. Enjoy. Another inhalation here, exhale to go to center, coming back to middle. Hands come onto knees, draw them into chest, gently massage, roll and shift, and then find your way into Shavasana. You need to put on something warm, you can do that. If there's something else your body needs on the way, you can follow and do that. And eventually we land on the mat with our heels met wide, our toes flopping outwards. Uh, maybe have a look as you lift your head, look at your legs and see your body aligning in space. You might find yourself all skewed <laughs> and you can adjust. Rest your head down, rest your hands down. Your shoulder blades are tucked under but not squeezing. So there's a lot of space and back torso and front torso. Eventually you close your eyes. Eventually you take a deep inhalation to expand as if your body was a balloon and then you exhale to breathe yourself into stillness and then just accept and acknowledge your Shavasana as it is. Your hands can be outward. Sometimes it's nice to rest them on belly, on heart, on hips. Make a choice and then be with it. Make the conscious decision to not move. With your eyes closed, soften your forehead. Feel your eyelids soften. Feel your brain soften. Feel your eyeballs hover between your ears. Feel the space between the eyebrows and then draw that line up to hairline where the two brain halves meet and let them soften, soften into one another or away from one another. Fully relaxing, relaxing jaw, tongue, throat, collarbone inner ears, neck, shoulders. And then again, going into the deeper layer of relaxation. Spread that into arms, elbows, forearms, hands, palms, fingers, 
surrender. Relax deeper than you ever have. Moving back up the arms, notice even more tension in the shoulders. Sometimes it feels like rocks, like ice, hard, solid. Shine your light of awareness onto where it's tense and tight and see if you can melt it. Use your breath, use your awareness like a loving, kind, warming touch and let the tension melt. Ice becoming water, water becoming steam, rock melting into lava, soften, warmth melting into earth, into mat. You surrendering back into you. Meander down to belly, sacrum, lower back, pelvis, hips, pelvic floor, thigh joints, uh, hip joints, thigh bones, all those strong big muscles around our thighs and hips. Give them permission to relax. To relax as consciously as we contracted them. We relax them. The muscles around the kneecaps, down the shins, the calves. Feel your heels melt into mat. Relax your toes, the soles of your feet. Moving back up. Maybe feeling your entire body at once. Or continue to meander. Continue to shine the light of awareness throughout until there's nothing in your body, nothing in your being that is unseen, nothing that lies in darkness, shining lights everywhere those things we want to see and those we don't want to see. That is courage. Showing up is stepping into the world with everything we are. The good, the bad, the messy, the ugly, the crazy, everything. Shining light into everything. Embracing and accepting everything. And healing from there. Able to show up as our best version from there. Gently bring your awareness back to breath. Feel the space, the edges of your nostrils and feel breath flowing in and out. Witness those subtle sensations of the flow of breath, the subtle change in temperature. And follow your breath into body, let your body expand with your inhalations and soften with your exhalations. Until eventually this breath brings movement back into body. Gently shifting, be intuitive in it, no wrong, no right. And when you're ready in your own time, roll over onto whichever side suits you today. Rest onto your side. A nourishing hug, maybe hugging yourself, hugging the world. <laughs> With your eyes still closed, once you're ready, effortlessly coming back up to seated to close the circle, coming back to where we started, high and tall on our sit bones, spine stacked, head stacked, shoulders soft, hands come together, pausing for a moment. Thumbs onto forehead, the space between eyebrows, remembering the softness there. On our next inhalation, we lift and reach. And as we exhale, we bow, thumbs coming to heart, 
bind to ourselves and to one another. I wish you an absolutely amazing, beautiful weekend. Thank you for joining me this morning. Lots of love. Namaste.